Hey, Catherine, it's um, Kathleen Smith. So here's, I got to put my kid to bed in a couple minutes, so I'm going to make this quick video for you. I don't know what kind of phone you're on um, or device you're on, but I'm going to assume that your video is on your camera roll because that should have been where it's saved to, right? Um, and you should have YouTube or you should put YouTube on your, um, your phone. You have a YouTube channel. It is with your Ledger account. So, um, I can see right here that on here, you, you might have to go through a couple steps to set it up, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, on here, when I just opened up my YouTube, there is in the top, which you can see my finger pointing to it. Um, next to the magnifying glass, there is the picture of the video camera or the movie camera. If you click on that, it is asking you what you want to upload. And this took me automatically to my um, camera roll. So let's just put my, you know, whatever, 50 second video of my kid on here. Hi guys. It's so I have that. You can trim it. Oh, You're going to click playing. next. Um, I am legally required. That's fine. That just means it's good for kids. Uh, yes, we want it to be public. And in the top right, you're going to click where it says upload. You can see that it is uploading right now. Um, the three dots that you will see, the snowman dots next to the March 30th, 2020. Um, well, let me delete it if it, something's going screwy, but it shouldn't go too wonky. Um, to get the link to post, you will... Oh, it's so it uploads it first and then it processes it and publishes it. So it's like a two or maybe sometimes three step process. So it's totally normal for it to take this long. Don't get all panicky. Had a lot of teachers today contacting me saying, why is this taking so long? Well, everything's getting crazy slammed and, um, you know, all the technology and some of the videos people are putting on are super long. All right, so where did it go, people? Let's find out. So I'm gonna go into my library in the bottom right. There's a little library button. My videos I clicked on, and there it is, March 30th, 2020. So how do I share it? The three snowman dots right there. Allow me to click share, and I can copy it. That's now copied the link for me to post in classroom all right so let's do that again okay i open up youtube there's the movie camera in the top next to the magnifying glass i look it connects to my camera roll i find a video i select it hi guys it's matthew i click I next i say upload in the top right it uploads. I'm just doing this for a second time, just to make sure you got all those steps. Because it's a little tricky to be doing this on a phone, but I'd rather do it on a phone so you can see what it looks like on a phone. Now we're waiting again. While we're here, I'm going to, oops. I'm not going to delete that one. My kid will be like, why did you post these to YouTube? Um, you'll see on my thing here too, I have a setting up and using YouTube video that I made for Karen and Rosemary. That's if they're using it on their computers. So if it's easier for you to put the videos on the computers and upload it that way, that's fine. If you're doing it all on your phone, you might as well just use the app. So... Processing at 95%. It takes me back here. I just need to refresh it to see the video. Okay, oh my gosh, it's not here. I'm panicking. It's not here. It's not here. Just give it a couple minutes. What I did was I just dragged that down. Um, I grabbed like what was in the top video and just dragged it down. You can see the refresh button starting. There it is. The snowman dots next to the March 3rd, 23rd, 2020. 
gives me the share option. The share option will bring me into copy and then I can double click. I can open up classroom. I'm actually in, I'll play around with this one. And the stream, if I go ahead and say I'm going to add a link, you can say link and I can paste it right there and it adds it. Okay, so I did all of this on my phone. I hope this makes sense. I hope